watch it guys disable these windows 11 settings immediately on your pc these are just advertisements and they are also useless widgets that you're never going to probably use so let's get started first off we're going to go to the file explorer and as you can see here we've got this horrible display here what we're going to do is go to the three dots and select options once file options are open you'll see up the very top it says quick access change this to this pc and apply it next you can go to the privacy bit area here click clear and then remove these two check marks right here so just take these two check marks out and go apply and then go up to view on view we're going to show hidden files folders and drives and remove the check mark from hide extensions for known file types now we can click apply and OK. There's nothing in search that we need to change, but once we do this, we can close off Explorer and open it back up and you should see this PC and it's a much more familiar feel and it's much more easier to navigate around. So next up, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna clear all of this recommended section here. And you can see there's a load of stuff that's stored in here and it just looks horrible. So go to settings, inside your settings pane here, we're gonna go to personalization. So click on personalization and then what you want to do here is come down to where it says start, click on start and you can see these two check marks here. So we're just going to slide these over to off and I've got all of these off here. And then when we uh, go down here and open this back up, you'll see that this has now all been removed. I prefer this look myself. And again, you can always change the actual uh, start menu completely and I'll show that a little bit later on. So next up, go to start and then go to settings. And what we're gonna do here is go to personalization again. And inside personalization, we're gonna go to taskbar. And we can see here we've got widgets and chat and a bunch of other stuff in here that we don't want. So I don't want widgets or chat. If you use them, then leave them enabled. They can toggle these off, but we're gonna disable them in group policy. So before we do that, let's have a quick word from today's sponsor, which is CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then head over to CD Key Sales, set up an account, and then once you've done that, you can choose some of the links in the video description. This will take you to the page of your choice, whether it be Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro or Office. Click on the Buy Now button, and then use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09 and apply this to your order. This will give you a 30% discount. So click apply and you should see a 30% discount here. Click submit your order and then use PayPal to pay for your actual key. This will be sent to your account and then you can use this in the activation center to activate your version of Windows, whether it be Windows 11 Pro or Windows 10 Pro. Okay, so let's continue on with the tutorial of disabling these widgets here. So we've got the chat widget and also the other widgets here for weather and stuff like that news. So I'm going to be disabling these two in group policy editor. So go to your search and type GP edit. Now you will need Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro to be able to access group policy editor. Once you're inside here in your local group policy editor, go to computer configuration, administrative templates, then come down to Windows Components. Once you're inside here, you can see here, we do have options available to us like chat. So I'm gonna go into the chat and then configure the chat icon on the taskbar. If you double click on this, it will give you another window which says configure the chat icon on the taskbar. We can then enable or disable this feature. So make sure you read the information on the right hand side here and it will tell you exactly what these features do right here. So if you leave it disabled and read this, it's not going to remove it from your PC. So instead you wanna to go to enable and then go to the state and you can either hide it or disable it from here. That is the correct way of doing it. Once you've done this and apply this and then restart your PC, it will remove this from your PC. So whether you want hide or disable, you can choose. There's a big list of information there. Once you've done that, stay in the same window and come down and look for widgets. Inside the widgets area, you can see here it says allow widgets. Double click on this one, and this will open up another box. And you can see here, we've got either enable or disable. Read the information, 
and we're going to disable this, apply this, click OK, and then we can restart our system and it will remove these from our taskbar and they will be disabled. You can also do this in the registry if you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home, and this is the path and that is the file you need to disable. But like I said, it's cheap enough to upgrade to Windows Pro, and that's what I'd advise people to do. Next, go to the Start button and go to Settings, and we're going to go to Personalization. And once we go into Taskbar, you should see this is all grayed out and the chat has now been removed. So you can't enable these features and they are not running and they've been removed from the system. So next up, what we're going to do here is go to Start, go to Settings. Inside the Settings pane, we're going to go down to where it says apps, go to apps and features, click on apps and features here. And what you want to do here is remove and uninstall all of the apps that you don't need, especially when you've done a fresh install, uh, you normally get a bunch of apps that you don't need like feedback hub and a bunch of other stuff inside here, like get help and loads of other ones. If you want them removed, just uninstall them. Now, sometimes you can't uninstall these and you will need to use a different method to remove these like some sort of um, the bloat tool or something like that to remove them from the computer. And I have made videos on that before, so I'm not going to cover it in this video, but just uninstall what you can here and then check out some of my other videos on how to completely remove all of this other junk from your PC if you want to remove other ones that you can't uninstall. So once you've gone through all your list, move on to the next section. So next up, we're going to be dealing with the advertising. Now, Microsoft love to add advertising in. So we're going to go back into the group policy editor. Inside here, we're going to go to computer configuration, administrative templates, and then system. Inside here, we're going to come all the way down until you see user profiles. In user profiles, you should see turn off the advertising ID. And uh, you can see here it's not configured. So we need to enable this feature. So double click on it. And this will open up the box here. And now you'll get some options whether to enable or disable this feature. If you read the information on the right hand pane here, it will tell you exactly which one you need to do, which is enable. Sometimes it's disable, sometimes it's enable. It's never that easy. You have to read the information. That should now be disabled. You will need to restart your PC. So once we've done this, we'll move on to the next thing that we normally do is this context menu. Now there's quite a few ways of going about changing this context menu. Now I don't particularly like the context menu on Windows 11 and there's quite a few ways to change it, but I'll show you how to do it in the registry, but you can use software and other little applications that will change it very quickly for you. So let's go ahead and go into the registry. Once you're inside the registry, go to H key current user, then come down to where it says software, open this up, and then come all the way down until you see classes. Then we need to come down where we need to see CLSID. So look for that inside the registry here. And there it is here. And we need to right click on this. You can open it up, but we need to right click on here and create a new key. Now we need to put in this code. I'll leave that in the video description. So paste this code into this new key that we just created here. So I'm just going to highlight this and paste that in there like so. It should look something like this. Now we need to right click on that new key that we just created and create a new key inside that folder. So right click and then create new key. And then we need to name it this, what you're going to see on the screen. I'll also leave that in the video description so you can just quickly copy and paste it. You can also use applications, which I'll show you a little bit later on in the video. So you should see something like this. Once you get this inside there, go into that folder and then go up the top where it says default. Double click on it and then just click OK. Don't touch it. Just click OK. And you should see two files populated. And that is it. Restart your PC and your context menu will now be changed. So let's quickly restart our PC and I'll quickly show you what it's done to the actual context menu here. So let's right click here and you should see there is a different menu system now, which is much more smaller 
and a much more easier manageable uh, menu system. So I prefer this to the original Windows 11 menu. Okay, so let's move on to the next one here, which is we're going to go into the settings pane. And then from the settings pane here, we're going to come down to where it says system. And then we're going to go to notifications. Inside notifications, we're going to turn off these two little one where it says offer suggestions and get tips and suggestions. So we'll remove those two check marks and that won't pester you with these notifications. So with those two gone, let's move on to the next section. Now you can toggle off all of the notifications if you wish, but I'm just going to leave those as is. So let's move on to the next one. So we're going to go back into the settings pane here and go to privacy and security. Inside here, you can check all of your general tab and things like that to make sure all of these are turned off. So these need to be turned off now. You can do these in the registry and you can also do these in group policy, which I prefer, but it does take a fair bit of time to go for all of these. So I'll probably save that for another video, but you can just toggle these off. Next, we're going to go back and then you need to go into the next section, which will be all your inking and typing and personalization. Make sure these are all turned off. These are all data collecting and you've also got some other ones inside here like diagnostic and feedback and speech and all these other ones which are all data collecting and you can actually turn off the service which I've covered in other videos so I'm not going to be covering it in this video once you've done all these key areas here there's going to be some other personal privacy settings that you might want to go through so I'm just going to make sure these are off and deleted all of the uh, data now you can read all the data that they're collecting. It's not that important, but for some people it is. And I'd work my way through here. The only two that I leave on here are microphone and camera. All of the rest I turn off. So you can use software to do this, like I've said. But again, this is reversible and it's just much more easier doing it this way. I have made batch files that do this also which I've shared and left on my website. So you can always head over there and check back on some of my videos and download that batch file that will disable all of these settings in one click. So work your way through here and disable all this stuff. I'm not going to go through it all in this video because it does take a fair bit of time. So you get the general idea. So next up, what we're going to do is go down to the search box. And what we need to do here is type advanced in here. Now, View advanced and system settings. Click on that there, and this will open up a little box here. And this will take us into the system properties. We're in the advanced tab, and what you want to do is go to performance. Inside here, you'll see visual effects. Now, if you're running an older system, disabling some of these can actually make your system a little bit more snappier. But if you've got a modern day system, this really doesn't do too much to your computer. But for people that might be using a older system, you can use either the best performance, but it will remove everything and it looks a bit nasty. And I prefer uh, to put it on custom. And then you want to take out some of these ones that I'm going to remove here. And just leave the ones that I've left enabled here. So it's just these ones here. And then it doesn't look too bad once you remove the rest of these. So just remove all of these ones above here. So let me go ahead and remove these. And I'll just uncheck mark these. There we go. And just leave these ones like I've enabled here. And it won't look as bad when you apply this to your system. Now, you only need to do this if you are running a really old system. Like I said, if you've got a modern day system, it doesn't really uh, make much of a difference, but it just gives you a bit more snap. Now, it also you can remote, you can turn these off if you don't want to use a remote. And again, uh, there's some other settings inside here which people like to mess around with, like uh, uh, startup and recovery. If you want to make sure the system doesn't automatically restart and it shows you that blue screen, then just remove the check mark from automatically restart. And then you can set up your uh, dump file on, on here as well to whatever you like. It says write debugging information, and you can change that to whatever you want to get a complete memory dump so you can understand what's happening to your system if you're getting constant crashing and you can see that box there that's what happens once you uh, do these settings so click ok and there is also inside here uh, the in the performance tab 
you'll see there's another advanced area here which people like to mess around with uh, virtual memory. I'm not going to mess around with that stuff. It's okay leaving it as it is. You're not going to see much of a, a performance boost by doing that. And yet it's still talked about in 2022. So with that done, let's move on to the settings pane here again. And inside here, we're going to go to apps and then we're going to go to startup. Now you'll probably have a lot more in here, but just remove all of these startup apps that you don't want starting up that take high impact on your system. You can see here, Microsoft Edge takes a high impact and there's a bunch of other stuff here, but you'll probably have a bigger list. So just remove all of the apps that you don't want starting up and that should help out. Okay, let's move on to the next one here, which is going to be, we're going to click on start and uninstall all of these unnecessary apps that come bundled with Windows. Now, there is other ways of doing this as well. You can use applications to uninstall all of this stuff. If that's what you want to do, by all means do so. But I'm just going to be doing it the uh, uninstall method through, through here, just so it makes it a much more easier and quicker video rather than me install software. But you can use software to uninstall all of the stuff you don't need. Okay, so this next one is a super important one. If you don't like this menu system here, like me, I think this application that I'm going to show you next makes Windows 11 a much more enjoyable experience. It's called Start All Back uh, for Windows 11. You can get one for Windows 10 as well and just download this. It's not a free program, but it's only a couple of pounds to actually buy this program. And uh, once you get it, you can install it. You can try it. Uh, for so many days for free and it will let you see uh, what it's like and what it can actually do for you what it does is it changes your experience with windows 11 in my personal opinion for the better so you've got your start menu here which is proper 11 kind of 10 and remastered 7 so depending on which one uh, floats your boat choose one of these and uh, you can use one of these so once you've got that done, there's some other settings inside here. I'm not going to go too much into it um, for these settings and how to configure it for your own liking because everyone's got their own choices. But you can do quite a bit in here. You can even change the Explorer settings here to put this back to, say, Windows 10 Explorer settings. And I found by using this program, it's much more enjoyable using Windows 11 uh, with this option because it gives you your task manager back on the uh, but it also changes your context menu. So you don't have to do a lot of these tweaks when you install this program. It just puts things back the way they used to be and makes it a lot more usable. You've got your control panel and all your other options on here to get quick access to all of your usual stuff that you used to get to very quickly. But with Windows 11, they've made it much more uh, a long-winded process. And this just takes all the hard work out of it. So I prefer this to be installed on all Windows 11 operating systems when I'm using them and the bar here you can change this to something more usable as well if you want to use the old Windows 10 let me just quickly show you that one there to get to the menu you can right click here and go properties and then go to Explorer and change it so let me quickly do this for you so you can see we're going to be using the uh, Windows 10 UI here so let's go here and that's it and once we open this back up you should see it's all been changed there you go. Very simple and easy to do. No tweaking around in the registry. This does it all for you. And it's a much more uh, better experience using Windows 11. There's other stuff inside here. I'm not going to get too deep into it, but yeah, it's a really good program. One of my go-to ones if I'm using Windows 11. Now there's plenty of more settings you can tweak in Windows 11, and uh, there's just too many for one video. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's basically... Some of the settings I like to disable on Windows 11, and I generally do that straight away. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support, and a special shout out goes to Fertility, MS Mux Oxen, RTX Brody, Phil's Computer Repair, Ron Hicks, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, PC Repair Tech, Mike Bigness, Albert Hewson, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.